For this trick, we need a just a mixed up deck of cards. Um, you can see there's not really any um, particular pattern going on here. And um, this is a little bit different trick than, than normal. Uh, and I'm going to be teaching this one so um, as well. So, uh, but this is what I want you to see though is we're not going to be doing any like fancy um, shuffles like these or you know any anything um, weird like that um, we're just going to try to do this trick using um, some really really sloppy um, style shuffles so and I'll show you what these look like here um, great alright good this ought to mix up the deck a little bit and I think we can safely say this deck is is um, pretty well mixed so but this will make it even harder when I start to find um, the cards I'm looking for so the first card is actually um, this one right here I believe this is the ace of clubs just like that out of the pack awesome we better mix this deck up a little bit more before we find our next ace let's see here next ace and ah, there it is, Ace of uh, Diamonds. So Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Clubs. Very good. Let me give the deck a, another quick mix here. Great. And um, this next Ace, we're going to find a little, little smoother variety, just like that, the Ace of Spades. And uh, we've only got one Ace left out of the whole pack. Um, the Ace of Hearts. Let's see here. Okay. Ace of Hearts. And it's going to find itself more or less just like this. And there it is. The, uh, the Ace of Hearts. And so uh, that's the trick. Okay, so let's start off by learning how to control the four Aces when they're mixed throughout the pack. Put the four aces in different spots, give them a quick shuffle, and a try cut, we're ready to go. So what you're going to do is, usually you would thread through the cards like this, but this time what you're going to do is just go down a little ways, and then just break it off into a chunk. And after, and then put the next step, chunk of cards on top. Now um, when you start this, the spectator will pretty much get used to it, you're just showing them, and you're going to try to direct their attention to the cards that they are seeing at that time. Then once you spot an ace, all you're going to do is lift up on that card right there and send the ace to the top of the deck and the rest of the cards on top. So there's this card. Lift up on that card with the ace. So in real speed it looks like this. Chunk of cards, chunk of cards, chunk of cards, uh, you know, another chunk. So just basically you're, you're just moving the aces to the top. Now the important thing is that they don't know you're looking for the aces. Oh, look at that, a friend. Um, only make mistakes in practice. Um, the important thing is that you don't mention the aces before that, but just sort of experiment. I, this is a technique I've used. What I like to do is do this when I'm talking to people between tricks, since I try to make tricks and magic a little bit more of a conversation. So that's um, what you need to do, get all four to the top. Then what you're going to do is uh, thumb up five cards. Five cards, not four. So the four aces and a random card. And you're gonna you're gonna under you're gonna thumb those up like this, and then uh, cut the deck, sending those to the bottom. Okay. And of course, when you actually do it and cut the deck, you're going to square them up. Great. Now this puts the four aces. One down from the bottom. After you've done this, you're going to um, spread the cards, and you're going to get a pinky break above those five cards, just like this. Now at this point, you're going to go into the real sloppy section of the trick. The important thing about the sloppy section is that you keep that packet of cards together in your palm, and all you can do you need to do is just move the cards around it. So there's those cards. We're just moving all the cards above it which is really hard to follow when there's so many packets going everywhere. And um, you just keep your pinky on that corner and you're good to go. So 
Doesn't matter what you do, doesn't matter what angle they're looking at you from. If you do it like this, all you need to do is keep those cards separated with your pinky. Okay. Then if you want to switch hands for a second and start pulling over the other side, what I usually do is um, go from a pinky and I just bring my hand over like this, okay, and grip this packet between there. And then you can do the same thing with it pinched under there. Okay. And then just switch it back underneath the cards back to the pinky. And after you've mixed it up a little bit like this, and just make sure the cards are looking at all directions, do drop some face up and face down. Just get it really sloppy. After a little while, just say, I think we're pretty sure this deck is mixed. And you're going to make sure to square up that four pack with the aces, square that up, and you're going to turn over the packs and flash them. And uh, I just like to set them on the table. You know, look, it's crazy. Okay, right here, what you're going to do is underneath the deck, you're going to slide off that 10 and uh, put it into the middle somewhere. Make sure you don't put it between your aces. And that's just going to look like this. And you just move the 10 into the middle. Now the four aces are on bottom. You can give it another quick mix if you want. I don't care how much you feel like messing around with these. I know I love it. Um, now what you're going to do is spread the cards a little bit and underneath the deck you're going to pull out your first ace and stick it back into the deck but keep your fingers on it. I'm just going to turn up the ace face up for demonstration purposes. Um, okay, remove the ace along underneath and then I stick it through the deck like this and I keep my fingers on it the whole time and then I see the one card that I know is moving. Now you can spot it, you know, especially if you're doing it with your hands. See that card there. And uh, as and you just need to move the cards around a little bit. And then all you need to do is just grab that card with your other hand. First ace down. Second ace. Some similar sort of move. You're going to move this card along the bottom. And then get it to a position between the packets. And then you're going to separate. Just grab it anywhere, separate and you can flip that card like that okay so underneath the cards and when you do it right it'll pop out on, under the ground so I have a tutorial for this as well um, which you can look that is in my impromptu 52 project the, the first one alright the next ace what you're going to do is slide it along underneath the deck and you can mix it in between these if you want and then you're just going to sort of separate these packets and you're going to drop the ace like this and flip it over. This ace is dropped and flipped over. And you're going to make the packets a little bigger at this point and get the ace separate. Last ace. Now the nice thing is now that you only have one left, you can be really free um, with how you're sliding it along underneath. Um, you can switch hands. You don't need to hold any breaks. You can just do whatever you want as long as you keep it on the bottom. Um, and just get used to this motion. You're squeezing, you know, the top and the bottom, and that's what helps to pull it along. And honestly, I mean, they can totally see you just pulling the bottom card um, as long as you just, you know, keep it going. Make sure the idea is these cards are being mixed. If at some point when you're mixing these, if you can get them out of your hands onto the table like that, that just helps to keep the illusion going. But keep that card on the bottom. Then what you're going to do is split the deck in half um, at some point, just real sloppily like this. And then what I like to do is uh, get your index finger or some of your fingers to pinch the ace underneath. Um, you can also do this with your pinky. But you want to just sort of pinch the ace so that way you know you have the ace in hand already. Don't want to leave this up to chance since this is your big finish. Um, and then what you're going to do, rub these back together a little bit and just start throwing the cards really loosely off. And as they start flying everywhere, you have the ace pinched. Finally, take that last couple cards, bring the ace out. And of course, this would go really fast. Um, and then what you're going to do, reveal the last card. Um, and uh, put it back with your aces. And then they get to laugh. You can just chit-chat a little bit as you collect up your cards 
um, for the next trick. And this is just a real fun finish. I'm going to show it to you one more time in real time. Okay, last ace mixed into the pack on the bottom. Um, pinch it with your fingers. Separate the packs. This looks just like this. And there it is. And if you want to end with a nice little flourish or something like that, you can. So, that's the trick. Hope you guys enjoyed it, like uh, learning it, practicing it, and uh, I'll see you next time.